Hi there, I look like crap. <laughs> so I was going to turn my camera around. Here, maybe you want to look at the moon or something. Let's see. Or a planet. Some other planet. Let's go. Let's go to the planet. How are you guys all doing? It's Wednesday. Oh, some people call it hump day. Wasn't it like National Prince Spaghetti Day or something? A long time ago. I can't remember. I uh, made two videos and forgive me if they're all twisted and screwed up because uh, that's how it was talking to my dad through a text. And like I said, he doesn't get in person. I don't, I don't, I think I actually saw him one time in seven years for five or ten minutes. I'm not really sure if that was in the time since I haven't seen him or what, but I don't know. He was making a big deal about the book of Enoch not being in the Bible and as I was trying to talk in my other videos, and I still can't explain what he was trying to do because he never really told me. It's I know that he was um, wrapped up in the serpent seed doctrine and the three earth ages that Arnold Murray teaches from the Shepherd's Chapel, and it was really freaky, and I mean, I was wrapped up on this for six months, even when he wasn't even texting. He... He texted for maybe two days straight, all gung-ho and different behavior than ever, and it was pretty scary, um, hard to understand. Um, it's like he was literally just taking this so, so deep, and um, I got to see my brother one time during that time because he asked me to go help him move a snow plow and it's interesting that I'm good for those things but you know not to talk normal to or be nice to you know I'm one of them that I guess he could count on when he wants to but it's like he has to stoop very low to do that you know that's how I get the feeling I don't know it's crazy I could go into all kinds of that but I wanted to there's this um, thing on Zephania.eu, and the Book of Enoch is a dangerous demonic snare. Now, a lot of people won't believe that, and a lot of people will believe that, but there's just an article, but although it's, goodness, um, 23 pages, but, but the reason why I'm bringing it up is because in here, they mention all the verses in the Bible that my dad took out of it. I'm scrolling down here. And um, it fits his Nephilim. Uh, you know, like how they mention the Nephilim in the Bible and they say the giants and stuff. Um... And also the Kenites, uh, the word, yeah, the word Kenite is in the Bible. I can't recall where right now. It's in the Old Testament. But before the flood, I believe, I can't remember the chapter. But when you do get into the Enoch thing, which is really weird because there were two Enochs. And one, if I'm not mistaken, was taken up and didn't die. It was taken up, and the other one, I can't really get too much information about, but there was two. Now, this Enoch was the seventh from Adam, um, so my dad was putting all these, um, you know, like, say, Jude 114 and the text and uh, let's see it's right here um, I'm just glancing and he was putting in let's see second Peter um, he was putting in Matthew 22 um, like for instance for in the resurrection 
They neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. All these verses. Let me show you something. Here is the thing. I hope it's not backwards. Adam and Eve, you know, and then Cain and Abel, and then it comes to where they have Seth, where Seth is the child that replaced Abel and all that. And then it goes down, Enos, Canaan, Mahalil, Jared, Enoch, and it, Methuselah, and that's where you're going to get up to. That's the grandpa. I think that's the grandpa of Noah and things like that. So you see, and they'll put the ages and everything, and it's... um. Zephania.eu. Um, you might have to type in index HTML files. Let's see. The the book of Enoch. I hope you could find it. And that's actually the top of the title where it says, let's see. Hold on. Uh, the book of Enoch is a snare, dangerous um, snare. Okay, demonic. All right, so I'm going to go back down. But in here, you know, since it's dangerous, um, I never knew about any of this stuff in the first place, okay? And then when the text started coming through, my dad was all gung-ho and everything. And actually talking about this just gets me a little nervous as it is. So I haven't talked about it. Actually, that's what I want to correct in one of my videos. It was more than three years ago. It was um, after they moved out of here, which was seven. It could be eight years ago now, um because they lost their house and everything. But anyway, since it talks about being demonic, it'll go into the book of Enoch, and it'll say, like, the first book, chapters 1 through 36, deals with the Watchers and the Nephilim. Um, the second book, 37 through 71, uh, the parables of Enoch. Let's see. Third book uh, deals with astronomy and movement of heavenly bodies. The fourth book, apocalyptic vision of, of the flood and all this. Uh, Let's see, the fifth epistle of Enoch, abominations to his children and all the stuff like this. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a second. So what's really weird is when I was searching and stuff, all these uh, verses he was putting through, he wasn't telling me why he had searched it or where he was getting the information. Okay, this is what I would want to explain to you that I, I'm having a hard time doing. So he didn't tell me that he was referring to, like, Enoch, the book of Enoch. He didn't tell me any of that. He's throwing things out and adding his own wording into it all and everything. And it came out of nowhere. And so it took me six months to find out where he was getting the information from. Now, um, when I was searching the Nephilim and things like that, and like right here, the great Nephilim deception... Okay, it's just so uh, the Jesuit controlled ET de deception, um, fatal flaws in the gap theory. My dad believes in the gap theory. Um, you know, it would take me forever to sit and do this, but maybe I can. The curse of New Age Christianity. Okay, things like this. Let me pause it for a minute. The text messages are on this really, really old phone that isn't even charged. I mean, I'm talking uh, seven years ago, which was really small. I had just gotten. Uh, from a store for 10 bucks and it didn't hold much and it wasn't uh yeah maybe it was a phone number for a little while but i ended up a lot of my life having um just a free phone from the government because you know but anyway um these verses like jude one and all this stuff these are all of the verses and stuff he was putting through the text and you're seeing angels and spirits and nephilim and uh fallen angels and um, never really talking about Jesus and all this stuff and uh, giants talking about the giants and everything and okay um, so I'm trying to get to the point that I trying to make okay it was freaky because he's not one to give you the information he'll throw things out there and he'll go go search it yourself which I see a lot of people do but I was wondering why he was even bringing this up out of nowhere when he when he hadn't talked to me since they moved out of here they had stayed here um two months well he left out of nowhere one day he's just like oh he's going to stay with some lady uh it was a real big hurry our uh sewer in our house um 
hit a problem, which still kind of does when we wash clothes or whatever in the kitchen and it'll smell bad and he goes, oh my God. I mean, I think he moved out because of that. It, it's just, we, we don't have a good uh, money life, you know. But anyway, when I searched it all and everything else, the only place that you could find all of this information was from the Shepherd's Chapel and things uh, like what uh, searches online that you've never even heard of. And so I went to start listening to Arnold Murray and all of his stuff. And I should tell you, um, the like, look up the gap theory, look up the Kenites, look up uh, Nephilim and look up all the stuff. Um, I don't have it all here to, you know, because it'll take forever. But, but anyway... I ended up finding out the Shepherd's Chapel, that's where it was coming from, because there was only like two or three other sites that would have any info on any of this. And that's why my dad thinks it's true, is because no one is talking about it. He had said that, like, in his text or something, and, like, I have to check all this stuff out, but he wouldn't tell me where he was getting the info, just like I said. He, he wouldn't tell me where to go search or nothing. So when I did, all this stuff started coming to me, and it was just really weird and scary and just weird. I mean, and I'm not, like, a scared person. I mean, I, I've been out 10 years at night delivering newspapers. Um, also, I would have to put them in the boxes for the other job, USA Today, and collect coins in the middle of the night. And, you know, I was having people from the other newspaper run into me telling me, be careful, you could get robbed, and, and things, you know. So it's... I wasn't never really a fearful person. I mean, yes, I had fear. I've I've dealt with fear more fearful of my dad than, than anybody in my life. So, I don't know. I got to pause it for a minute. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is it opened my mind to a lot of stuff. I guess I could thank him for that. But look, like Gnosticism. Let me just scroll and the Tower of Babel, which, you know, I know that's in the Bible. Let's see. Um. I don't know, I'm trying to just go through here as I, but all these verses were the same ones, and if I could charge my phone, and yeah, there's 23 pages. All right, so I'm trying to get to my point, <laughs> and I don't know how to explain it. Let me pause it one more time. So I guess part of my point was this. Why did he feel the need to go, because he kept calling it bloodlines, that's what the Shepherd's Chapel will do. You'll have to do a search, um, make sure when you do the gap theory, you, you'll probably see the Shepherd's Chapel pop up or Arnold Murray. And you could watch video, videos of Arnold Murray, but you have to do the search on YouTube to get to the exact one. Now, you know, Arnold Murray had passed away in 2012, which was really, really, really odd because Arnold Murray had just passed away and then it was that my dad was putting the messages through. That was another weird thing, but anyway, you could see it'll say Three World Ages Part 1. That's like, um, uh, he has a rapture theory. Okay, the gap theory, but that's by somebody else, you know, but but anyway, when you hear, okay, see the Nephilim, you'll, you'll, you'll hear Arnold Murray talking about the fallen angels and everything. Now, I just want to warn you to be careful when you're listening to it. It could cause some anxiety or nervousness and things like that. Um, he's been asked tons of questions and everything. Now his son took over, but it was just strange. Um, my question to my dad was, why do you have to go along this path to to know there's good and evil? Why why do you have to take it to such a extreme? That that was my question to him. Um, I don't know, maybe I should stop talking right there until maybe I get more um, of what I'm going to say. But he believes there are three Praise world... Praise God, we've been waiting on you. We're ready to get into a new subject tonight. Well... He believes there's three world ages. Um, three. Uh, you know, which... Some of this, it, it sounds... Okay, put it this way. When the, the devil wants to lie, he'll put it the closest to the truth as possible. Um, that's what I found that Marie does. He'll take verses 
and make them mean something else that they don't mean okay I've saw it like tons of times the reason why I'm talking about this okay when I went to then go help my brother move the plow I'm gonna set this down I asked him um, you know I think dad's been getting in the Shepherd's Chapel Arnold Murray and here I didn't know he was because my dad didn't tell me I asked him where he was getting the information and this like that my dad would not tell me then when I finally did do the searches it took six months to find out a whole bunch of stuff it's this Shepherd's Chapel and so when I said to my brother dad's been acting kind of different lately real gung-ho into the Bible and everything but it's weird stuff stuff that I can't explain he goes oh my god he has them all recorded on our DVR and he said I can't even um, record like a hockey game or whatever um, you know in other words so he was that deep into it the way he was acting was real different and everything I mean it was just really different and weird and like evil and scary and everything else so um, then it even took me searching further about people who were involved in the Shepherd's Chapel and here's the thing that they um, they have a whole bunch of stuff online I can't find the guy's name actually you could type this in you could put um, Arnold Murray's false doctrine and you can see there's uh, watchman fellow watchman.org um, let's see Christian forums they're saying he's a false teacher and everything else and what he teaches is wrong what I fell into is karm.org this guy's a Calvinist you could look up Calvinism <coughs> they don't believe that Jesus died for all they only believe Jesus died for some there's um I can't find the guy right now but he, he actually got married in Arnold, Arnold Murray's church and after he was in here six years or something he started doubting everything he was saying because see it takes a while to get deep into this guy's teachings um, they're out of Arkansas um, so when you then find other people going up against them and showing them how it's false um, you know he denies a lot and everything else so um, it, it's just crazy so I just want to mention this because um, it it took up even more than six months of my life but I was living in this real anxiety that I've never ever had in my life and I swear to God it was just like the devil was talking to me through the text message I mean I wasn't one to be a fearful person not like that like I said I'd go out I'd deliver in the middle of the night I'd collect money I'd have money in my car you know, but I'm always taking different routes to where I'm not the same place at the same time. Just look out out there, you know. But if you ever want to find anything about, you type in false doctrine or false doctrines. Um, you could um, type in anything. False doctrines, who knows, the Bible or false doctrine of a certain person. But I never even knew to look that up, you know. So uh, I've learned a lot. But, but the thing was is I've learned a lot of evil stuff which I know that we should know our enemy and things like this but it was like my dad was wanting me to get wrapped up in that belief system it felt like a cult like oh I can't explain it Th thanks for listening I better end it um, I'm gonna run out of time in a minute anyway but Maybe I could tell you more soon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Thank you for all the messages and comments of staying safe and caring about us. And hopefully we're making it through. And, you know, things I, I wish the same for you. Uh, it is hard. And it can be, get you anxiety, you know. So my best goes out to you. Um, I hope today on Wednesday, the 15th, that brings you uh, some happy times. Love you. Bye.